friends, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are finally going to be doing another renovation video. Whoa. I hesitated on saying renovation video because this isn't like a full head to toe renovation. This is a taking your room from drab to fab on a budget and hopefully very easily. I have been wanting to try batten and boarding a wall for so long. I love the way it looks and it looks weirdly easy yet weirdly really difficult. We're going to be trying that in this video and we're also going to be trying a little TikTok trick I saw where you use a projector to paint on wallpaper because you guys know I love wallpaper but it's very expensive so if I can use a projector and just paint it on I feel like that will be way more cost effective probably more time consuming but worth it in the long run hopefully. The only thing we're going to be changing is a feature wall and I feel like it's really gonna pack a punch I don't know I'm hopeful this room is not bad at all to begin it's just very gray every color in the room is gray I want to brighten it up I want to liven it up on a budget and hopefully easily now I say that but usually it's did you hear my stomach grumble? Now it seems promising that it may not be too hard, but honestly, I don't want to speak too soon because I'm sure it will have its difficulties, but we'll get through it and I will hopefully give you guys some insight to make it easier for you. I will make the mistakes so you don't have to. So I will put some picture inspiration up on the screen of the boarding that I want to do and then also the wallpaper. It's like a Terizo style. And then here are the color stories. Now I don't want to reinvent the wheel in this room. There's a lot of grays. I don't want to clash with it. I don't want to have to paint the whole room, change the bedding, change everything. I want to just see what we can do with this feature wall to change the whole room up. But I do need to still pick up a little bit of paint. I was I was looking through my stuff and I was like, how do I not have these paint colors? Like what? You guys know my paint collection is extensive, but I didn't have these ones. What? But without further ado, let's, oh my gosh, what is going on stomach? Shut up. But without further ado, let us get into turning this room from drab to fab by only changing the feature wall and keeping a tight budget. Let us begin. So we're going in. <laughs> We're two floating heads here. <laughs> you guys, we just got the wood cut at Home Depot. I, I took a little bit of footage, but honestly, I was stressed out when we were in there. But that's a really convenient feature of Home Depot is they will cut your wood for you. I've heard before, sometimes it's not completely perfect. So for that, we'll have a little saw in case we have to chop anything off. And we also got wood glue. What was it? It was uh, wood glue. No more nails. No more nails. So we're just going to glue it into the wall. So hopefully that works. <laughs> and <laughs> then it doesn't fall off. <laughs> now we're trying to figure out the color story. We want to grab a few paints. And honestly, like, is there one that you like more? More. Oh boy. You know, I kind of like this. Uh, that one. I love that. Okay, let's yeah. do that one. Here's our color story. Period. Let's go in and find it. <laughs> and Kate, okay, this also could be more budget friendly. You could honestly, by rights, just pick up acrylic paint if you wanted. You could. I think probably for painting the wood, you would want a more a better paint but i think for on the wall for the wallpaper you could get like some cheap acrylic paint i think it'd be fine oh yeah but we're getting <laughs> fuji fusion paint because <laughs> we love it so much Literally. we need every color it's true uh -huh. See? not a big one we're gonna get the little ones how much are these these are so cute aren't they they're adorable okay you guys we changed the color a little bit here's the base color and here are the accent colors. We changed up our palette. I think this will be good. And more us. We added yellow. Come on, look at that. I love the like buying stuff and then second guessing it in the car. Oh, I always do this though. It's true. You do. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Don't forget the big green. The big green. For a girl who doesn't like green, she sure likes green. <laughs> right? Mom. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are in the room we're going to be transforming. This is actually my parents' room. Honestly, don't even try to keep up 
with where we are. It's too confusing at this point. Even I'm confused. Trust me, it'll all make sense. Once it's settled, I will explain it. But right now it's just too confusing. So we're doing this wall. This is going to be the wall that we transform. As you can see, it's very bare right now. And like I was saying, this is a very gray room. I also told my parents not to clean up because I wanted the before shots to look <laughs> extra messy. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so this is the room we're gonna tackle. We gotta move some stuff first to get it out of the way because we're in a little space with a big bed. <laughs> <laughs> Fit a king size bed in here and that's pretty much it. Clear it out, clear it out. Get rid of all this gray in here. <laughs> look at all my Kleenexes. Because of my allergies right now, I have so many Kleenexes under my bed. It, this is freaking gross. Oh. <laughs> Just wait till we move the bed. I shudder to think how many tissues are under there. Holding box right next to Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. What? Oh yeah. Oh Mia! What? Look at Oh my oh wait. <laughs> I remember long time ago yeah. when we were moving, everybody gave me a lot of heat for having dental floss by my bed. Well, look what my, look where I got it from. Mom, I, wait, I, what can I say? Every night as a habit, I take a tissue and I put it in my hand and I go to bed because my allergies act up and I put it under my pillow and they all end up there. You shove them behind your bed. <laughs> Ew, you get that. That is so bad. I'm just realizing how literally everything is gray. I'm feeling very gray today. I don't know how this happened, like actually. zero color in here, girl. Mia, what's this under my bed? Oh, it's a great big giant. <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. <laughs> Careful, because our chiropractor... Actually, he's open now. Oh, is he? He is. Oh, Mia, good. good. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. There you go. Hey, I was looking for this chapstick. Oh my gosh, we're both just like. <sighs> <sighs> Let's pull the rug out. Let me try and lift it and you pull okay. the rug. Okay, ready? <laughs> so yeah. you're gonna pull it. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the okay, whole rug. Out. There's like. Don't break it if it's a fun. No, Mom, don't break No, there's a whole stack of. Eventually. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we got lots of room. We got lots of tissues. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's cleared out pretty much in here. We're gonna continue to use this bed frame. The only thing is we want to take off the headboard because we want the wall batten and board to be like a big statement headboard and then with the wallpaper above. So we're also gonna Mom, your head just popped up. <laughs> So we're also gonna take these pictures off. So we just have to find a way to unhook this. Initially we were thinking we might actually saw it off, but now I'm looking and behind it, there are all these little screws. If that wouldn't be too high, that would be like the easiest way to do it. Okay, let's Jeez. just dismantle the whole piece. That way we can use this headboard for something else. Right. Cause we are, what? Hoarder. <laughs> Yeah, we'll save it. We'll use it again. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find a use for it somewhere. Oh yeah, you're getting it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh fun. yeah! Look at that! <laughs> it's like, Dad, come lift this for us. Take it to our storage <laughs> with all of our other taken apart furniture. <gasps> Get rid of these. Buy abstract art. Now! The blank wall is out. Now, do you want the light switch on? Oh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Why are we working in the dark? I mean, the lighting is going to be really bad throughout this entire video, you guys. Just because this room is too small to fit a bunch of lights in. But that's the real world. <laughs> Sometimes the lighting is trash, and that's just the facts. But okay, this is our blank wall. 
So we're thinking about doing batten boarding up to here. We got all the wood cut at Home Depot, which is really nice that they can do that. Just make sure to be on them that they get the exact right measurements. Because depending on who you get, sometimes they do it really quick and they'll be like inches off. But you really need them to be perfect, otherwise you're going to have to saw from home. So we have one board across the top and then a bunch down the side. I'll put the inspo picture in now. I think this is going to be like really, really easy. We're gonna try to just uh, do no more nails and stick it on, but we might need to tack it on with a little nail. We'll see. Oh, also we measured off camera. Make sure to measure your wall with the design you want. You can do really, really fun designs. Some people will do like crisscross, a bunch of squares. Ours is a little bit more simple. But we also want it to be like budget friendly, so we want to use the least amount of wood. Let's go get it. Yeah! <laughs> ah. Oh, nice. How did the guy at Home Depot do? Let's see. I wow! Did <gasps> he did really good! He did great. How much were all these boards? You know, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> budget! <laughs> now, oh my gosh, it looks beautiful! Right? Oh, wow! I love it already. I yeah. love it too. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, I'm doing it in my room. Yeah. Period. Okay, first step, I'm going to measure the entire length of the room and then I'm going to find the middle and get this one up. That's the first step. I'll let you know if it actually serves us well and then you know if you should or should not do it. Oh, mother. <laughs> What's 131 divided by two? Oh. <laughs> 65.5. All right. 65.5 is right here. Are you catching my drift, little young mummy? Yay, I am. Okay, check the top of this and let me know if it's level. Okay. Dang, you got it. Okay, I'm gonna mark the top. So that's where our first one will go. It's actually sticking really well with just those few dots of glue. And now we're just going to put a nail in the top and a nail in the bottom and then we'll fill that later. <laughs> we'll figure out for you guys so you don't have to and then yours could go a lot smoother than ours. That's the hope. Goodbye hand, <laughs> for I have cared for you. Already to have that texture on the wall. Yeah, I don't want to speak too soon, but like this is the move. This is the move. Oh, oh. yeah. All right, pretty easy. Super nice. I like what you've done with the place. Right. <laughs> Okay guys, so we ran into a little bit of an issue, but I think we got it sorted out. So we went through, because all of the boards are a little bit of a different height, we went through and lined them up where they would fit. And we put the ones that are a little bit shorter where the bed will butt up to it so no one will see the gapping at the bottom. It would be better for it to be perfect, but obviously that doesn't always happen, especially when someone else is cutting it for you. So this is a way to work around it. But it's looking really nice. I agree, I love it. Me too. Look at my little swirl. <laughs> little blob. Oh my gosh, mom, you're strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, it's nasty. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how to measure in between, just in case you don't know. So basically, you're going to line up, if you already know how to do this, just skip to this time. This is just for the people who maybe don't measure and hang things a lot, but okay. So you're gonna measure in between, 
28 and a half. You're going to ask your assistant, what's half of 28 and a half? <laughs> oh boy. 14.25. 14.25. That's an unsatisfying number. <laughs> You're going to mark in the center of that. 14.25. That's where you're going to want to stick right in the middle. You can measure that if you want, but or you can just eyeball it. We like to eyeball. Then when you stick it on, this top piece should be level, but you can still check from the side. And then there you go. That's how we do this. This is so simple. I'm loving this, and I feel like it's looking really good. I love when things work out. What a fun project. And if you can't afford a uh, headboard or something, I feel like this is less costly than a headboard. Seriously. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. And then we'll tape it so the nails, no yeah. more nails, sticks it down. Lovely. <gasps> so nice. It looks great. It really does. Honestly, it's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have all of the boards up, we're just going to put a little bit of froggy tape to hold them down just so that the No More Nails can adhere and keep them really stuck on. Then we have a few nail holes to fill, a little bit of holes in here, but then we can start painting and then we have a cool little trick I saw on TikTok for up here making it more exciting. So still lots to do, but like already, this looks so much better. I'm loving it. This room lacked character and we're bringing in the character. Yeah. Okay guys, we're well fed. Now we're going to add some silicone. One really important thing when buying silicone is you want to get the one that you can paint over. So this one says paint in 30 minutes. That's really important because some silicone, like a bathroom silicone, if you paint over it, it doesn't adhere well to the paint. So that is a mistake that I personally have made. So don't make that mistake. Make sure that you can paint over your silicone because we're going to be painting this. But if you were leaving this white, you could get white silicone and do this after you painted it. It's up to you. But if you're painting it a color and you want to silicone it, you don't have to silicone it. I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> you don't have to, but if you want it. How many times can you say silicone? <laughs> but like you don't have to silicone it, but I feel like it'll really finish it off mm -hmm. all these corners and everything. So we're going to do that. Okay, you guys, this is the difference between not siliconing and siliconing. It really, really finishes it off on the sides too. You can see right there is not, and then that is. I think it'll really finish it off well, but this is gonna take a while, so give us a second. It looks like it was meant to be here. It looks like part of the wall. I'm always impressed with stuff like this when it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, now that the wall boards are all on and siliconed, we're gonna let this dry overnight. So we're gonna start working on this top bit of wall. I'm out of shot. But okay, I saw this post on TikTok and it was basically talking about how wallpaper is so expensive. It's actually less expensive to buy a projector, buy the paint, and do it yourself. So that's exactly what I did. I did buy this mini little projector. It wasn't very pricey and it actually seems to be working really well. We tested it out yesterday to see if it was gonna work and it connects to the phone and everything via Bluetooth, which is awesome. Ask your parents or look through your storage and see if you have a projector already, but if not, they can be pretty inexpensive. And in comparison to wallpaper, this is more affordable. That being said, I don't know how well it would work. We're gonna figure out now and let you know if it's worth it. But based on the TikTok, I think this will be really good and I'm a wallpaper crazy person. So if I can find an affordable way to do it, I think every single wall will have wallpaper on it soon. So we're gonna try this out. It's gonna get pretty dark for a little bit. We have all of our paint colors here that we picked up yesterday and we're gonna filter through and just make sure that we want that Terezo or however you pronounce it. So we gotta set up the projector. Close the blinds, it's gonna get dark in here you guys. 
Whoa! Right. That's exciting. Yeah. Whoa, mom, let's watch a movie. Right? Like, it's great. This is so fun. Look at this computer win. Oh, yeah. Look at me go. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> what? Mia, stand on your head and tell me what that says. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, come on. Okay, come on, seriously. Like, really? Okay, I've got it in mirror mode. Should I do it like it's a photo shoot? I always see people doing photo shoots with projectors. <laughs> me and my career. <laughs> oh, come on, honestly. Do you need help? Well, see where it says setup? Now I'm in setup, and now I have to connect mode. Okay, one sec, let me help you. Two. This is awful. Right? <laughs> Why are we doing it in mirror mode? <laughs> I think I'm getting used to it. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I can't believe you flipped into. I know. Screen. Like, how do I get it off mirror? I don't know how you did that. <laughs> Should we turn it off and on again and see if it'll Unplugged. flip out? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just see if it'll come out of the mirror mode. Please go back to normal mode. Oh, good. Okay, wait. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'll actually do a handstand. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. What does that say on the bottom? Me, it says no. Inform it's backwards for me too on the bottom. Okay, there. There we go. Ah! You did it! What did you do? We're in. We're in. <laughs> I want to go out. Please don't flip the. Table. And I want go to iOS Cast. We now have the projector set up. So you have all the pictures, right? I do. Let me just focus this for you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now, do you like this design? Ooh, that is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty nice. Option number two. This is working so nice. Make a guide. A color by number. Okay, yeah. let me flip it once. The other one's more fun. I would agree. I like the more fun one. We'll start on this side That's and then idea. we will move over. Okay, you guys, that took a little while, but like this is pretty promising. I think this is gonna be really good. Any wallpaper that kind of looks like a photograph, I feel like would be really hard, but something like this, I think it would just be time consuming to outline. We'll see. I think it's pretty promising. I'm really excited. Oh, me too. Like, really excited. I know, right? The only problems will come in when, like, you're in the way or I'm in the way of you. Right? Alright, you guys. This is going to be very time-consuming. <sighs> Give us a second. Take okay. a peek. That's looking really neat. Okay, loving that. Loving that. <laughs> Honestly, a little tiring though. I don't know about <laughs> you. All right, let's do this other half. Okay, sounds good. Let's do the grand reveal. Go! 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks so good. Like, I don't know if this is my too much jean talking. <laughs> but like, I want to add more colors. I hear you. Okay, so we definitely need to add this color because that's going to be the color of the bottom. But I also feel like we need a, sort of like a terracotta color. So I'm going to go check and see the supplies I have, if I have anything. And we'll be back. But I'm like tired. Like, it went well, but I'm like exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Aww. I know what it is. I know what you're gonna say. It looks like camo. Does it look like camo? <laughs> no, that's not what I was gonna I'm say. I'm getting seriously concerned. All right, we're doing it. We're painting the bottom thing too. <laughs> We've turned into ourselves again. We can't stop. And we won't stop. One thing that I noticed while doing this is it was really awesome. Seriously, 100% next time I want to get wallpaper, I'm going to think, can I do this with the projector? Because seriously, cost effectiveness is insane. I'm actually going to put the cost difference of if I would have bought enough trees of wallpaper to put here versus how much this costs. Because seriously, I really think it was worth it. And it was actually really fun. Then too, you can change it a little bit if you want. Because sometimes I see wallpaper, but it's not the perfect color. So this is perfect. It's perfect. Oh my goodness! Those look so good! Yeah, filling it really made a difference in this. It did. I want to do a pink board and batten dining room <sighs> right now! Wow! Is this ever nice? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! I can't wait to sleep in here. It looks like a little bit camo, right? <gasps> That's what we were afraid of! <laughs> Isn't it? That's what we were afraid Dad. of. Okay, you guys, we have the first coat done on the bottom. It's definitely going to need a second coat. We are like at a loss because in the camera, I really like this, but it's like, I just don't. No, I feel like it gives sort of like a childish vibe. So we keep thinking, is the coral the answer? So we might just mess around with some colors and see where it lands, but I will touch back tomorrow. Okay, you guys, it is the day later. We already did the second coat on the bottom. And honestly, you guys, batten and boarding, I, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm obsessed. We want to do the second coat on all of these splotches. Oh wait, I didn't even mention yesterday we added a light pink and also a purple color because we were getting concerned this looked like camo. So I don't know. It kind of reminds me of a jawbreaker. That's what Jenna said when I sent her the picture and I totally agree. It's giving me sort of like a retro vibe. It's my mom's room and she <laughs> likes it. <laughs> it reminds me of that floor when you would go into someone's like garage and it's this old epoxy type floor. What a review people. I mean, come on. <laughs> but we are going to do the second coat and clean up all of these lines and hopefully it will look very finished. Let's do it. <gasps> oh my gosh, a baby! A baby, baby. just ran in! Baby! Catch. There you go. So talented. <laughs> Oh, it's looking so good though. <sighs> I'm excited to see what the bed and everything looks like. Me too. Okay, I'm gonna move over a Okay, bit. sounds good. Oh, my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, the touching up, I think really, really finished off the wall well. Way more opaque and crisp lines. So we're gonna move all of the furniture. We also have a lot of cleaning up to do and we'll see how the final wall looks it's so nice you match it perfectly i know i changed <laughs> oh yeah i changed to match <gasps> chip what do you think he likes it he said he likes a lot i love having no headboard
Okay, you guys, I literally think this feature wall may have taken this room from drab to fab. Let's take a look. What do you guys think? Okay, that feature wall makeover, I will say, had its ups and downs, but I feel like for the most part, it was pretty easy and positive. I feel like the only confusion was when the wall started to look like camo colors. That was concerning, but it's all good. I don't think it gives off that vibe anymore because for a while we were like, does this look like a child's bedroom? Please, even if you think it looks like a child's bedroom, don't say anything. Just keep it to yourself. It was a lot of work. Okay, but for real, I wanted to say my opinions on the two little DIY projects we did, the batten and boarding, and then also the wallpaper that we painted with a projector, because oh my goodness, the batten and boarding was surprisingly so easy. It definitely was time consuming, but very simple to do, especially if you get your wood cut at a hardware store where they can cut it, like for instance, Home Depot cuts it. That made it so much more easy too, because then you don't need any power tools or any saws or anything. So that one was really good and very cost effective as well. I picked some decent wood and I think it was like $50 or so, but there was other wood that wasn't primed yet that it was cheaper if you wanted to do that as well. So yeah, the batten and boarding 100% gets a thumbs up from me. If you like the way it looks, I definitely say try your hand at it. I definitely think it will be successful for you and I could definitely see myself doing it in the future some more. I have this dream of like a dining room with pink batten and boarding halfway up the whole room. So maybe that'll happen in the future, I don't know. Okay, and then the wallpaper using the projector. Now for this, I feel like the design we chose didn't necessarily need the projector. We could have just put spots randomly, but it was nice to have the projector because then you didn't have to second guess yourself if it would look good. You were following a outline, but there's certain wallpapers that that would be so beneficial to use a projector for, cost effective, but also for making sure it's center. Like there's a lot of little waves and interesting patterns. I'll put them up on the screen ones that I feel like would be really beneficial to do this technique. I definitely feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use of the projector now because I seriously loved doing that. And I have spent a fair bit of money on wallpaper that I probably could have done that way. So this has opened my eyes for sure. So yeah, all around I feel like this was very successful. I think we took this room from drab to fab with these two little tricks. If you guys end up trying any of these out, make sure to send me a picture over on Instagram because I would love to see what you guys do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.